welcome back to all of my amazing students. So good to see you guys again today. We are going to level up our English speaking skills with episode three of Super Sentences. Yeah, this is the best way to work that spoken English muscle and make real progress with your spoken English. If you're new here, I will explain exactly how it works. And if you're coming back, you can skip right ahead to the lesson. Guys, we will begin with a simple sentence. Then, level by level, we will stretch this sentence longer and longer, making it more and more advanced. Now, each time we stretch the sentence, I want you to practice saying it out loud with me. You can shadow me. In other words, I speak, you speak. Or you can pause the video and repeat aloud. Repeat out loud, okay? By doing this, we are training our brains to speak longer, more complex sentences. Now, if you're ready to dive in, let's do that. But I have just a small favor to ask first. It would be amazing if you guys could watch this video all the way to the end. That's the best way to make real progress with your spoken English, and it really helps me and my channel grow. You can click like on this video to support me as your YouTube English teacher. You can click subscribe so you never miss another one of my lessons. Guys, I guarantee that if you watch one of my videos every day, you will see big results. You will make progress quickly, okay? Lastly, you can leave me a comment. Tell me why you are learning English. What is your learning goal? Okay, with all of that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. Starting off slow, starting off simple, we have level one. Now remember, I'm going to read the sentence and you can say it with me or pause the video and repeat it back. Let's take a look. <clears throat> A woman shares exciting news. Okay, we have a woman. She's going to be the focal point of this sentence. She's going to be the main character in this story that we're taking a look at today. And this woman, she, I guess, has some news. Okay, something has happened. Something significant. Something important. Something big has occurred, has taken place, has happened in her life. And it's not just news, it's exciting news. Yeah, it makes her excited. It must be some kind of positive news, right? So she wants to share this exciting news. Let's say this again at a medium speed this time. Ready? A woman shares exciting news. And okay, one more time. Let's say it quickly like a native speaker would. Ready? A woman shares exciting news. Moving on to level two, our simple little sentence is starting to get a little bit more complex, a little bit more challenging. Yeah, guys, bit by bit, we are going to push ourselves to speak longer and longer sentences. Let's take a look at this one slowly at first. A happy woman shares exciting news. Okay, still pretty simple. We know that we're talking about a woman Okay, a grown woman. We know that she has news to share. We know that the news that she wants to share is exciting. Okay, and now we know how she's feeling. We know that she's really happy. Let's say this sentence again at a medium speed this time. A happy woman shares exciting news. One last time, quickly now. A happy woman shares exciting news. We've stretched the sentence a little bit longer. Let's read it again slowly at first. A happy woman shares exciting news with her family. Ah, okay. So now we know that we're talking about a woman who has news to share and the news that she has to share is very exciting and we know how she's feeling. She's feeling really happy, right? But now we know who she is sharing the news with. 
who she is sharing the news with. She is sharing the news with her family. Yeah, could be siblings like brothers and sisters, could be her parents like her mom and her dad, could be any number of different family members, right? But this must be pretty big news, pretty significant news, pretty important news if she's feeling happy, and it's exciting, and she's going to share it with her family. All right, let's read this sentence again at a medium speed. Ready? A happy woman shares exciting news with her family. And one more time, quickly, a happy woman shares exciting news with her family. Moving on to level four. Okay, this sentence is picking up speed. Picking up speed. Speed. Yeah, we're starting to really get going here. Okay, it's starting to get a little bit challenging. Let's take a look slowly at first. A happy woman shares exciting news with her family about her recent engagement. Now we know what the exciting news is. Okay, now we know why she's so happy. Now we know why she is sharing this with her family, right? Because she was recently engaged. Yeah, we know what the news is about, what the news is regarding, okay? It's about her recent engagement. What's an engagement? It's when you decide to get married. He proposed. He proposed to her with a ring, and he said, you know what? I'm serious about you. I'm serious about our relationship. I want to take this relationship to the next level. So he decided to propose. Now they are engaged to be married. This has happened recently, right? It happened recently. Maybe it was yesterday. Maybe it was last week. It was a recent occurrence. Okay, let's read it again at a medium speed. A happy woman shares exciting news with her family about her recent engagement. And one more time at a native speaker speed. A happy woman shares exciting news with her family about her recent engagement. Now, guys, this sentence is starting to get really advanced, but we're only halfway there. There are 10 levels to my super sentences, and we're only at level five. So keep going. Don't give up. Let's really push ourselves, okay? We need to train our spoken English muscles, and you just can't do that by only speaking short, choppy sentences. We have to invest time invest energy in longer, advanced, and complex sentences. So let's take a look at level five. Slowly at first, a happy woman shares exciting news with her family about her recent engagement while smiling from ear to ear. Oh, this is so lovely. This is so great, right? Now we can see exactly how happy this woman is. This really paints a vivid picture. What's vivid? Vivid means we can see it in our mind so clearly, right? This woman is smiling from ear to ear. Here's the woman, right? Here are her ears, and she is smiling from ear to ear. That's just kind of a a, a spoken English, a colloquial way of saying that she is so happy. There's a big, fat smile on her face spreading from ear to ear, okay? She is so happy about this exciting news. Let's read this again at a medium speed. Ready? A happy woman shares exciting news with her family about her recent engagement while smiling from ear to ear. And once more at a native speaker, quick speed, a happy woman shares exciting news with her family about her recent engagement while smiling from ear to ear. Let's jump right into level six. Ready? A happy woman shares exciting news with her family about her recent engagement while smiling from ear to ear and showing off her stunning ring. Whoa, okay. We've added 
another chunk here. This woman is sharing her exciting news. She's telling her family all about her recent engagement. She's so happy. She's smiling from ear to ear. And at the same time, she is showing off her stunning ring. What does it mean to show something off? That means you are really proud of something and you want to kind of flex a little bit. You want to flex a little bit. You want to show off a little bit. You want to brag a little bit. She's saying, hey, look at this really great thing that happened to me. Aren't you a little bit jealous? Yeah, she's showing off, okay? And the ring that her fiance, he used to be her boyfriend, now he's her fiance, the ring that he has given her is not just a ring, not just some ordinary, plain, boring ring. No, it's a stunning ring. What is stunning? That means it is beautiful. It is gorgeous. When people look at it, they are stunned by its beauty. Stunned is kind of another way of saying shocked or really surprised, right? Dumbfounded might be another synonym. So if a ring is stunning, then it is so beautiful that you are left speechless. Okay, guys, let's skip the medium speed and go right to native speaker speed for the rest of these levels. Let's really push ourselves. Here we go. A happy woman shares exciting news with her family about her recent engagement while smiling from ear to ear and showing off her stunning ring. We are flying along. We are already at level seven. You guys are doing awesome. Let's check out the new addition, the new chunk that we've added to this ever-growing super sentence. Here we go. Slowly, a happy woman shares exciting news with her family about her recent engagement while smiling from ear to ear and showing off her stunning ring as everyone congratulates her. Okay, there is a lot going on here now. We've got a happy woman. How happy is she? Extremely happy. So happy, in fact, that she is smiling from ear to ear. She's sharing this exciting news with her family. What's the news about? It's about her recent engagement. And at the same time, she's showing off her stunning ring. Yeah, her gorgeous, beautiful, breathtaking, stunning ring. And also at the same time, everyone is congratulating her. Yeah, all of the family members gathered around. They are all so happy for her. They are really excited about this news and about her future, right? And so they are congratulating her. If you congratulate someone, then you say, hey, this is awesome. I'm so happy for you. This is huge. This is big news. I'm pumped, right? I'm pumped. I'm stoked. Those are just two different ways of saying excited, right? You are excited for someone. You are pumped for someone. You are stoked for someone. You're so excited for them and you're excited about this big news. So you go and congratulate her. Let's read the whole thing one more time quickly now. A happy woman shares exciting news with her family about her recent engagement while smiling from ear to ear and showing off her stunning ring as everyone congratulates her. Level eight. All right, guys, we are really getting into the nitty gritty, the nitty gritty, the meat and potatoes of this lesson. Yeah, like the most substantial part, the part of this lesson that is going to help your English the most. So really push yourself, okay? I want you to really make an effort and you can shadow me, say it with me, or pause and repeat. Let's read level eight slowly at first. Here we go. A happy woman shares exciting news with her family about her recent engagement while smiling from ear to ear and showing off her stunning ring as everyone congratulates her, uh-oh, until her sister announces she just got a promotion. That's a little bit awkward, right? I think 
this story has kind of taken a turn. It's taken a turn, right? Something has happened. This woman's sister has made an announcement. She has let everybody know something. Well, what has she let them know? Her sister has let everyone know that she just got a promotion. Okay, she just got. This is something that has also happened recently, okay? The woman was engaged recently, but her sister got a promotion recently as well. Yeah, maybe it happened yesterday or last week or even this morning, okay? But yeah, her sister is saying, hey guys, hey guys, I have something to say too. I got a promotion. What's a promotion? You move up at work. You move up. Yeah, maybe you get a new job title. Maybe you get some more important responsibilities at work. Maybe you get a higher salary at work as well. It's a good thing, right? A promotion is a really good thing. So, okay, let's read the sentence again quickly now, and then we'll see what is going to happen after her sister makes a big announcement as well. Is there going to be some kind of confrontation, some kind of conflict between the two of them, some kind of issue, some kind of problem. Let's read level eight quickly and then we'll find out. Ready? A happy woman shares exciting news with her family about her recent engagement while smiling from ear to ear and showing off her stunning ring as everyone congratulates her until her sister announces she just got a promotion. Okay, wow, that was a real mouthful, okay? And I forgot to mention, there's one word here that's really a key word, until. Until is really the dividing moment in the scene that we're looking at, in uh, the mood of the scene, right? Things at first were really, really happy. Everyone was excited. Everyone was happy. You know, she's smiling from ear to ear. And then... We have a hard line. That's what's going on until this moment when her sister makes the announcement. All right, let's level up. Level nine, let's jump right in with a slow read. Ready? A happy woman shares exciting news with her family about her recent engagement while smiling from ear to ear and showing off her stunning ring as everyone congratulates her until her sister announces she just got a promotion, taking the spotlight away. Yeah, guys, until her sister did this, the mood was happy, the mood was light, the mood was exciting, right? Everybody was congratulating this happy woman who was smiling. Then this moment happened. There's a dividing line before this moment happened and after this moment happened, right? Her sister makes this announcement about her promotion, and when she does that, she takes the spotlight away. Yeah, this is a useful expression in English. If you have the spotlight, then that means all eyes are on you. All eyes are on you. You have the floor. You have everyone's attention. Everyone is paying attention to you. Everyone's noticing you, right? But then her sister took the spotlight away and she took it for herself, kind of selfishly, right? Now the spotlight is split. Yeah, it's still a little bit on the woman, but now part of the spotlight is on her sister as well. I think her sister was maybe a little bit jealous of all the attention this woman was getting, and you know, she was kind of showing off her stunning ring and getting all of this congratulations from all of her family members, and I think that bothered her sister a little bit. Her sister got jealous and decided to take the spotlight away. Okay, let's read this sentence again quickly and then move on to the final level of today's super sentence. Ready? A happy woman shares exciting news with her family about her recent engagement while smiling from ear to ear and showing off her stunning ring as everyone congratulates her until her sister announces she just got a promotion, taking the spotlight away. 
Now, if you haven't liked this video yet, if you haven't left me a comment, if you're not subscribed, now is a great moment to do one or all of those things. It really helps me out so much. And thanks to you guys, you know, my channel has been growing like crazy and I'm getting closer and closer to being able to do this full time for you guys, okay? With all of that being said, let's take a look at level 10, slowly. A happy woman shares exciting news with her family about her recent engagement while smiling from ear to ear and showing off her stunning ring as everyone congratulates her until her sister announces she just got a promotion, taking the spotlight away and stealing her thunder like usual. Oh man, this situation has become kind of a bummer. What's a bummer? If you say, oh man, what a bummer, or if you say, that's a real bummer, it means this is kind of a sad situation. It bums you out. It makes you feel kind of down, kind of disappointed, right? Because things were going so well, and this was such a beautiful scene until her sister decided to take the spotlight away. And another way of saying that, another way of expressing this idea of taking someone's spotlight away is stealing thunder. Her sister stole her thunder. Even worse are these two final words, like usual. Now, why is that so bad, these two final words, like usual? What makes these two words so awful? Well, the implication, what that tells me as the listener, is that this happens all the time, like usual. This is something her sister does a lot. It must be a bad habit that her sister has. I guess there's kind of a sibling rivalry. What's a sibling rivalry? It's when a brother and sister or a brother and a brother or a sister and a sister, two siblings, compete with each other. Compete with each other. They butt heads. They try to see who's best. They try to see who's better. They try to see who is superior, right? And obviously that's a bummer because they're siblings and they should support each other and love each other. But here we are in this messy scenario, this messy situation. Okay, guys, let's say it again. This is the last time we will read this super sentence. So really push yourself. Are you ready? A happy woman shares exciting news with her family about her recent engagement while smiling from ear to ear and showing off her stunning ring as everyone congratulates her until her sister announces she just got a promotion, taking the spotlight away and stealing her thunder like usual. Oof. Wow. I want you guys to take a hand give yourselves a pat on the back. You're doing an awesome job. You really have trained that spoken English muscle today. Very quickly here, I want to give a huge thanks to my channel members and Patreon members. Yeah, everyone who has clicked join here on YouTube or gone to patreon.com slash English with Connor. You guys really make my work possible. You guys are supporting me and my work here on YouTube for only $5 a month. It's a great deal and there are lots of perks right? Lots of benefits, lots of good reasons to spend that five bucks a month, right? What are the perks? What are the benefits? Well, you get PDFs for all of my lessons, first and foremost, and that really takes the study experience to the next level. It really increases the quality of my lessons because you can follow along at home and personalize the lesson for yourself, right? You can take your own style of notes to make sure you get the most out of my lessons. Another reason it's such a great idea is that you get bonus videos, okay? You get extra content that the public 
does not have access to. It's also, of course, just another way of supporting me as your YouTube English teacher, and I appreciate it so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, guys. Now, if you are in the middle of a study session, don't stop here. Keep going. I'm going to put another video up on the screen, and I'll go meet you there. Let's go.